I'm staying in bed thinking back on us and everything. Hello friends, welcome to my autumn day in a life featuring some cleaning, a very delicious homemade butternut squash macaroni and cheese. Spoiler alert, it was so good and a hit with the toddler. And just taking in all of the cozy fall vibes today. So let's get into my fall day in a life. My name is Shay and I am a stay at home mom. Fall is my favorite season of the year and I am just so excited to bring all of the fall and autumn vibes into my home as much as I can with the small minimalistic decor that I have and some delicious treats and recipes. So today we are gonna be making a yummy recipe, maybe a coffee, we'll see where the day takes us, but let's get into it. It's about 12.30, the laundry's done, I'm ready to go, my coffee's drank, and I'm gonna be making this pumpkin fall harvest pasta for lunch. I'm so excited, it is so cute. Has little jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins and leaves and all these fun fall festive things. I'm gonna be making a butternut squash macaroni and cheese, so let's get started on that. Be able to see. So this is what the pasta looks like, and the little red ones are little jack o' lanterns. So cute. Okay, let's open the lid first. That would be helpful, Shay. Ooh, gonna burn myself. Doing this one-handed. And then it says to let it go for six minutes. While this is cooking, we're gonna start on the cheese part of the macaroni and cheese. Cause what we had was gold and you gotta know I was standing on the border The walls around me kept me safe I couldn't see that I was shutting you up I was stuck up in the I'm waking up now I guess you can't really see the shape of the pasta when there is the mac and cheese kind of combination, but it's the thought that counts. And I would say this butternut squash macaroni and cheese is pretty festive. I'm gonna call it harvest butternut squash macaroni and cheese. Fall harvest pasta or pasta? What do you say? Do you add the aw to it? And this is good actually. It's actually good? Yeah, I like it. You like it? I really like it with ketchup. I just put my toddler down for some quiet time in her room. She will fall asleep. And in the meantime, this chaos from lunch. It was really yummy, but it made a big mess. So it's time to clean up. It was toddler approved though. My four year old, my very picky four year old, approved of it. So that's something. Try it out if you have picky eaters. It worked. Anywho, while I'm trying to get this one to sleep, I'm gonna clean up, so let's get cleaning.
husband's home and he's not feeling too well today so he shut the blinds and he's just having like kind of a relaxation movie kind of day to make himself feel better but this plant okay this fiddly fig my favorite plant is not happy where it is these plants are so beautiful but they're also really finicky i find and like they will tell you when they are upset and let me tell you this plant is not happy so we need to find a different spot for it it does like sunlight but not direct sunlight we don't really get much sunlight in here do some dusting I'm using a microfiber cloth to make it a little easier because like I said this plant is very finicky you shouldn't doubt yourself because you're we call this one Big Bertha yes we name our plants there were a couple of leaves down here that turned like this and they ended up just dying and I took them off and then the plant was doing better but now I'm seeing a couple other ones that are turning like this I thought it was maybe like a watering issue but it seems like it's okay. In the meantime, we only really had two casualties today. I mean, I guess that is a lot out of the like 15 leaves it has. It's definitely doing good at the top. We need to figure out what's going on. So let's do a Google search. Yeah. So I'm doing a bunch of like Google searching now. The plant is called a Diaphanbachia Bachia. I don't know. It's also called a dumb cane. I don't know. I like plants, but I'm not really a plant expert. It can turn yellow, fade, and droop, which is what it's doing, if it's over water or underwatered. How does that help me? <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I'm overwatering it because sometimes I would go months of like kind of neglecting it and like not watering it much and it would be fine. So I'm just going to leave it for now and see what happens. We'll see. Otherwise, I'm underwatering it, and me not watering it is just going to make it worse. We'll see. Anyways, enough talking about plants. Let's move on with the day. Decaf, ice caramel macchiato, and a pumpkin scone. My little fall treat. It is almost 7 o'clock at night. My daughter just woke up from her nap, so she doesn't want the bright light on. I'm working with it. Honestly, I stopped filming for a while. The kids were rowdy. We were just kind of hanging out with the kids a little bit. As I said, my partner wasn't feeling too good today, so we just kind of took the day to relax. I was planning on making some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies, but I think I will have to bump that over to like tomorrow or maybe Sunday, so I will add that in once we get that done. But for now, I am sipping on my decaf ice caramel macchiato honestly it just tastes like cream and caramel it's not good i would not recommend getting a decaf of that i'm about to put on maybe some netflix or disney plus we'll see maybe something halloween themed let's see what's on there halloween town yeah. halloween town or twitches which one can't decide Ah, uh, yes, my friends, we're watching Halloween Town. I'm probably just gonna end it here, watch some Halloween Town, and just finish the night. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Be sure to check out this video next for more cozy fall vibes.